Let's get quiet. Just relax right where we're at. You just may want to consider your posture. Just check and see if your back is mostly erect. Think of the words of the Buddha, oh nobly born, oh nobly born. So sit with what you feel is some dignity. Because you are the nobly born to whom the Buddha was born. Focus on the breath. Just notice and how it works. And as you breathe in, you're filled. And as you breathe out, you just naturally relax. Breathe in, you're filled with life. And as you breathe out, you just naturally relax into the breath. Forgiveness is the only thing that reveals the light of the world. It sees through the shadows of illusions, straight through the 10,000 forms in which they may appear. It looks on lies, but is not deceived. It does not heed the self-accusing shrieks of sinners mad with guilt. It looks on them with quiet eyes and merely says to them, My brother, what you think is not the truth. This is absolution. The forgiveness of saying the crime was not real. The strength of this pardon is its honesty, which is so uncorrupted that it sees illusions as illusions. God is true. Because of this, our forgiveness becomes the undeceiver in the face of lies, the great restorer of the simple truth. We overlook what is not there. Open up the way to truth which has been blocked by our dreams of guilt. And so we are free. Free to give that which has been received. So today, anytime we may be tempted to accuse someone of any sort of misdeed, we will not allow our minds to dwell on what we think he did. For that would be self-deception. 
Instead, we ask what I accuse myself of doing twice. And thus, we see the alternative, the choice in terms that renders choosing meaningless and keeps our life. Pain is forgiven as God herself intended it be. Only lies condemn. Truth is innocence. Forgiveness stands between the leaves and the tree, between the world you see and that which lies beyond, between the hell and Thank <laughs> you.